Just hit a button, Morty. Give me a beat. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Um. How good is Ferran Torres and where would he fit into Pep Guardiola's Manchester City side? So Ferran Torres is Valencia's 20-year-old Spanish midfielder who plays predominantly on the right side of their midfield in their 4-4-2 system, but he could also play on the left side of the midfield as well. It's reported that City have agreed a fee of just £24 million to sign him, and it's this low because he only has one year left on his contract, otherwise Valencia would have probably commanded a fee closer to £45 or £50 million. Before I get into the analysis, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the bell to get notifications, otherwise you may not be notified when I release a video. Video. Also, after this video, check out some of my other videos linked in the description below. Ferran Torres' best attribute is his dribbling ability. He can progress the ball forward from the middle third to the final third when he receives the ball in the flank, and he's able to use his close control dribbling ability and acceleration to glide past opposition players. This is incredibly useful when coming up against a deep, compact defensive unit, as Torres can push Manchester City's attack forward into the final third a lot quicker than if City had to rely on a series of passes to work the ball into this area. His ability can be seen as he's completed 2.2 dribbles per 90 minutes in La Liga this season, the same amount as Martin Odegaard and Ansu Fati. At the moment, he isn't hitting the 3 plus dribbles per 90 mark that Vinicius Jr. or Nabil Fulkir are hitting, but Torres is just 20 years old so can improve in the next few years. Torres is a valuable asset when it comes to transitioning the attack quickly, being able to pick up the ball in the defensive third and move the attack forward at pace, which is important when looking to exploit the opposition's advanced positioning through a counter-attack. In terms of chance creating, Torres is also producing a decent amount of output. He has an expected assist rate of 0.20 per 90 minutes, which is the 28th most of any player in La Liga. When on the right flank, he's excellent at shifting the ball past his defender into a position where he can whip in a cross, which would give City a different type of crossing option to Mares on that right side, who likes to cut inside on his left and whip in an in-swinging cross rather than going down the outside and putting in an out-swinging cross. Torres also has the ability to create via an intricate through ball in behind the back line or from a reverse pass when coming in field from the flank around the box. Some young wide players get stuck in the mode of just being able to dribble past players and lack the vision or passing ability to improve their end product, but Torres has shown that he can do this and is more than just a dribbler. This is something that he isn't yet consistent at, but he has proved that this is some type of skill that he does have in his game, and if he can do it more often, he will become a world-class player. Torres also provides a decent goal-scoring threat as well. Across the Champions League and La Liga this season, he has a non-penalty XG rate of 0.17 per 90 and scores 0.20 non-penalty goals per 90, showing an overperformance of 0.03 per 90. This shows that not only is Ferran Torres getting into a fair amount of goal-scoring positions, but he's also finishing these chances when he gets them at a higher rate than expected. This firstly comes down to his ability to time diagonal runs in behind the back line to perfection, and secondly, his composure and striking technique which enables him to finish accurately more often than not. When we look at Ferran Torres' statistical model, we can see his ability more clearly. He ranks highly for passes into the box with 1.85 per 90, putting him in the 85th percentile or the top 15% when we compare him against other wingers from Europe's top 5 leagues. His expected goals rate is also impressive for a 20 year old. As we can see, he is overperforming it and his expected assist rate ranks in the 77th percentile. We should see a steady increase in all of these over the next few seasons, so even if he isn't ranking incredibly highly for these at just 20, in my opinion, this shows him to be one of the most promising young attacking midfielders in Europe. So how would Ferran Torres fit into the Manchester City system? Well, I'd imagine he'd start off as a backup to Riyad Mahrez on the right flank in Pep Guardiola's 4-3-3. This is a more advanced position than what he currently plays for Valencia in their 4-4-2 shape, so his output should increase just from him getting into more creative positions more often. Pep likes to have one attacking wide player in the system, usually the right winger, keeping the width in an advanced position as a right back tends to play more as an inverted fullback, unlike Mendy on the left who constantly looks to overlap Sterling as Sterling looks to move inside into narrow positions. Torres would thrive in this position, having the dribbling and crossing ability to create when City isolate him against the left back around the box. He also offers an alternative to Mahrez, as in some games when City's attack on the right requires a player to go down the outside of the fullback to get to the byline, Torres would be able to supply this a lot better than Mahrez, whose game revolves more around cutting inside onto his left rather than going down the outside. I also think Torres could be used as a right back or a right wing back if needed. He certainly has the offensive ability required with his dribbling 
dribbling and crossing, potentially making him a top class attacking fullback. He'd have to work on his positioning and one on one defending, but he definitely has the tenacity and defensive awareness to play here as he has played a disciplined role on the right of a four man midfield in the past few seasons at Valencia. It could also be an option for Pep to use him alongside De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. It would be unusual but Torres' dribbling and acceleration is something that could be key for City when they want to transition the attack quickly through the centre of the pitch, save the opposition of pushing their midfield high up to press and spaces left in behind creating half spaces for Torres to receive the ball in. So in terms of rating Torres, I'd give him a 6.8 for current ability, which is just below the Champions League class bracket, but I think he will improve rapidly at City over the next few seasons, which is why I'd give him a potential ability rating of 8.2 inside the world class bracket. So overall, I'd say that Torres is a very shrewd signing for City. 24 million is an absolute steal for a versatile 20 year old with his ability, and he can be eased into the starting 11, playing back up tomorrow's in that winger role until he finds his feet. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed that video remember to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications and check out some of my other videos which will be linked in the description below.